guys, look what I found. Apparently, this is going to be the movie for Five Nights at Freddy's. It comes out in 2020. Mike Schmidt, a man desperate for a job, finds himself stuck at a kid-friendly pizzeria with a terrifying past that now haunts the restaurant. He, and he must ride out the rest of the week before he is able to quit his shift. Written by Kurt Pickford. My cat. She's a squeaky baby. How you doing, pretty baby? Anyway, back to the movie. Found this on imdb.com. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so, this is the full synopsis. The next part might contain spoilers, so that, and this is just going to be the rest of the video, so you can just go ahead and end it here if you want to. Mike and Michaela Schmidt were childs of the or were parents of a child who fatally suffered from kidney cancer. They had spent most of their money on trying to keep their son alive in the hospital, but he passed away to his, due to his illness. Then, having to pay for the funeral, all of their money was gone. Mike was fired due to his lack of work that was resulting f from suffering from the depression that was caused by his son's death. Michaela was a stay-at-home mom. Now they were both looking for jobs to help support themselves. Michaela tells Mike to try to to try looking through the news clippings to see if he can find any good paying jobs out there. As Mike looks through the newspaper, he catches what catches his eye is a white lettering on a black background that says help wanted. Below that was a picture of a bear with a top hat. He calls the manager and he gives Mike the interview right then and there. As Mike is hired by the phone guy on Sunday, October 31st, not knowing what's in store for him, the manager only let him know that the instructions and policies of the position as, the night, as a night watchman will be given to him via voicemail left on the machine at the beginning of his shift on the 8th of November at 12 a.m. After Mike's first night, Monday, November 8th, 1993, Wait, what? Oh, gosh. Boom, this actually proves when the first one took place. This is proof that the first game comes after the second game. What? He is overwhelmed with the lethal encounters that he is up against, and when Michaela asks him how the first way they went, he thinks about how desperate they are for a job and, and, and keeping it no matter how bad it is. He accepts that it's a good job. Once Michaela leaves, he thinks about how desperate they are for, oh wait, for, uh, for her new job in review. Mike looks up the history of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza at the town's archive center. He learns about the tragic past wait, the restaurant ha has had and tries to f find another job before he quits the pizzeria so Michaela doesn't realize he's unemployed. Mike finds another job. But the earliest he can work is Monday the 22nd, so he's forced to ride out the rest of the week working at the pizzeria. As he progresses through the week at, with working at the pizzeria, Mike begins to do more research. He moves from reading archives to listening to them, the recordings of FNAF 2 voicemails. While listening to the previous recorded items, he begins to think there's a catch and slash or suspicion with the connections of the phone guy, the FNAF 2 day shift guard, and the archival findings of the missing children. Mike makes a Venn diagram of the connections between the phone guy, the missing children, their, their disappearances, and the other staff. Wait. Mike realizes the horrifying truth. Spoiler, spoiler, oh wait. And puts together the pieces of what dangers he has coming his way and now he now knows what he's up against. He goes through the last night working at the pizzeria. He loses power, staying still. He waits for as long as he can until time hits 6 a.m. Mike doesn't live through the fifth night at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Another police investigation surrounded the pizzeria, and the place had shut down again. The previous manager was never tracked down and could never be located, and Mike's body was never found.
bro. That is the entire plot of the Freddy Fazbear movie, or Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Here it's called Five Nights at Freddy's. In about, I don't know, like three minutes. You're welcome, guys. Oops.